Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Got an interesting one today with a name that may offend some people. This is a run called Prostate Cancer. I mean no offense to anyone who has been affected by the terrible disease of cancer, but thematically this was a very interesting run so I felt the need to take it. It was also the only run I've ever seen that had a kind of like its own backstory attached to it, so the person who suggested this, YouTube user GAAG, G-A space A-G, uh, said like, uh, religious pressure has forced you to not masturbate, which has led to prostate cancer, which apparently has, you know, some scientific background to say that masturbation reduces the risk of prostate cancer. Anyway, uh, so, seeing this as a test from God, you are looking to overcome the cancer with only, you know, your copious amounts of urine, the cancer itself, as well as your faith, which is represented by the Bible here. So we have number one, we have cancer, and we have, uh, the Bible as well. Now, the only rules here are that we have to behave in a somewhat holy way, so we're not able to actually uh, take deals with the devil. If we see judgment, we have to give judgment money no matter what. We are able to take whatever items we want, there was no restriction there, except deal with the devil items are not allowed. So even though Harlequin Baby might seem like a weird item to take in an angelic sense, it wasn't really like you can only take angelic items, it was just like thematically you can only do angelic things. Uh, so if we see demon judgment, we've got to blow him up. If we see regular judgment, we've got to give him money no matter what. Uh, we can go to the shop, we can go to the item rooms, we cannot take deals with the devil. And we cannot replace our spacebar item, although that much should be obvious by now. So this becomes like run number 50, where we cannot replace our spacebar item. Perhaps run number 50 in a row, although I think the last one we did was the left hand. God forbid I ever have to do that again. We get justice, fantastic. I don't know why I used it right away. I guess I wanted the keys, and losing that half red heart doesn't really matter to me. So let's check for our secret room so I can have some money to give to Judgment, potentially. We're gonna get a uh, unicorn horn, which I cannot do anything with, if only I still had the D6. Now, for a man with prostate cancer, he looks incredibly happy. That is a side effect of urinating constantly. If this reaction persists for more than four hours, please contact the doctor. So, I might as well use the Bible. I'm just trying to think of how. I thought about using it on the boss room, but I think I'm actually just gonna use the Bible uh, whenever I run into a situation where I could actually uh, pick up some extra items, were it not for, you know, an enormous chasm or something in my way. So this should allow me to get some extra keys and bombs, who knows, maybe some extra uh, items if we're lucky and get like a golden chest or something that actually pays out well. Who knows? For now, we're just going to take our speed upgrade and we are going to move down to the next floor after getting full health. So in terms of my overall opinions of this run, how is it going to work in terms of success? We can make this run work really well for us. Obviously our rate of fire is goddamn insane. The only thing we need is some way to stack up damage. So of course we are incapable of getting a mom's knife or brimstone pickup, uh, which is probably much to the relief of, of many of you out there. We also need some range upgrades, as you can see. Uh, but by and large, basically we need some way to improve our damage, and I would love to get some other kind of tier effect as well. May or may not be likely, given the situation, but we will see. So we're going to fight our second boss. I will go to the item room on this floor, don't you worry your pretty little head about that. Still haven't used the Bible, again I'm saving it for a rainy day, essentially a, a situation where there's a hole in the ground, which is going to happen quite frequently once we get down to the caves and catacombs, which is going to happen pretty quickly. We're doing a lot of damage here early on. So let's not even tempt ourselves with that deal with the devil. And we will just go back and explore the remainder of this floor. We picked up an HP upgrade, that HP is going to end up being handy for us for sure. Uh, especially as I have to get very, very close to enemies to do any sort of damage to them at all right now. Certainly, range upgrades are gonna be, uh, on, I'm gonna be on the lookout for those as we move onwards. The reason I didn't want to go into the deal with the Devil Room, not even to see what item there would be, is because I didn't want to risk accidentally running into Krampus, and if we ran into Krampus, there is the possibility, uh, that I would take way more damage than I would otherwise. And I can't pick up the Lump of Coal anyway, so why bother, right? We're gonna ignore that chest for now until I get more bombs. We're gonna kill all these flies very easily and hope for a good non-spacebar item. Money's going okay in our... Oh, it's Mom's Knife! You know what? In order to <laughs> placate the masses, I'm gonna skip over Mom's Knife for now. I hate to do it. Remember, I just said on this floor we'd be incapable of getting a Mom's Knife or Brimstone pickup. Unfortunately, that did not prove to be the case. It's a damn shame, but also the, the other justifiable reason for skipping that is because it would make it so it's not really a prostate cancer run anymore, considering I would no, no longer be urinating on enemies, which would take away some of the thrill, not to mention the general spirit of things. So I think that was a wise decision uh, in order to leave Mom's knife there. 
Believe you me, it crossed my mind, the thought of picking that item up, but uh, in leaving it, I think I've made the proper decision that Gut Egg would be proud of. I can't tell if it's like a, a, a foreign name. Oh, that was terrible. But at least we picked up some more money. I can't tell if it's like a foreign name or if someone's just like, this will be funny. Let's make Northern Lion try to pronounce something that sounds like a Klingon word for vagina. Oh. Okay, we're gonna come into the item room, it's mom's pad. So far the item rooms have been absolute trash for us, unfortunately. And of course we're gonna have Ultra Pride here. The Bible doesn't really help me too much, fighting Ultra Pride. Uh, in fact, nothing really helps me that much fighting Ultra Pride. The main strength I usually have, this is a good opportunity for Empress card. Main strength normally when you fight uh, Ultra Pride is that you have range, so you can just stay far away from it. Not so here, because we are kind of handcuffed by our number one. But if I just don't get too close to him, I can probably kill him before he... Actually, you know what? Bible might be really useful here. Because when he starts spitting out creep, he won't actually be able to hit me. I think. Uh, because I'll be flying. That's my guess, but I'm going to save it because I don't need it just yet. And who knows, I might need it later. Lots of red hearts that I can go back and get. Please, just hit him. Like, two more times. Oh, he got us. It's okay, though. He'll be dead in a second. There we go. So we got the left hand, which we can't use and I don't really like anyway. Otherwise, we're just going to continue moving onwards here and we are back to full health. So there was not a substantial loss of uh, anything there, really. Except for my time. And your time, if you're watching this. I'm not trying to... Oh, nice. Free secret room. I'm not trying to sound like my time is more valuable than your time, of course. We're spending this time together, honey. Uh, I could get a bomb. Yeah, you know what? We haven't really gotten that many good Bible uses yet. So why don't we use Bible to get a bomb? Uh, we got nothing in there. I could have blown that up with the bomb that I got, but uh, it seemed like kind of a waste. Now, Bible takes like six rooms to recharge. It's got like an inordinately long charge time. Obviously, the principal use of this is going to be killing Mom and Mom's heart instantly. Apart from that, it's going to have only niche uses. Uh, and I would really love to get a flying item permanently. We could possibly get that with Deals with the Angel, which we should get for not going into Deals with the Devil. But we'll see. We have a curse room here, which we are not going to go to. And we have extra money. I could go to the shop, but I'm saving the money for Judgment's potential showing up. We're going to pop our Devil card, which all of a sudden seems maybe not the most angelic thing to do. Let's just file this under me uh, speaking in tongues or something and briefly being possessed by uh, the aggressive spirit of the Lord and Savior because otherwise I have really no justification for this, beyond the fact that I didn't really think about it, and it was just a minor oversight in the whole scheme of things. Anyway, Peep's going to be dead pretty soon. We're going to get back to full health, which is useful, because I kind of got screwed there on the fight. And we got the Devil card again. I'm, I guess I'm not going to use it, although, I mean, that's just me trying to... Maybe overcorrecting. I'm being a little bit too political correct with respect to this run. He said we're armed with only our faith on this quest, so I felt like the devil maybe flies in the face of that uh, assumption there, or assertion there. However, you know, all tarot cards kind of fly in the face of Christianity or Catholicism, don't they? Isn't there some kind of, like, occult element to that, which is seen as undesirable? I don't know, man. I just play video games. Don't expect me to know. In Levit- oh, that's awesome. Quad urine stream. In Leviticus 1511, Joseph said that the Devil card is acceptable for use in the Binding of Isaac. Man, don't expect me to know that stuff. I'm doing my best here, trying to make an entertaining product that also fits a certain theme. Okay, so we're gonna go through the boss room here. I don't want to use the Devil card, but I also kind of want to get rid of it at some point. Maybe I can just use it randomly on a, a room that we come across, just to get it out of my inventory, because it's staring me in the face. So we are gonna fight the Husk here. I believe this is the husk anyway, and it should be a fairly easy fight, although he's taking a surprising amount of hits compared to what I'm used to from this guy. He's also spawning a lot of asshole bomb flies, which I'm hoping to explode near his person. Well, nope, not quite. Is quad shot going to be enough to, to carry us through the end? I don't think so. I kind of desperately need range upgrades at this point, which is something I don't end up saying all that often. We get pageant boy as well as another deal with the devil, which we are going to skip over. Uh, and we're going to do some more examination of what remains on this floor. Because I want to possibly go to the shop now. I have the money where I could both go to the shop uh, and possibly give Judgment enough money to pay out in all likelihood as well. 
Plus, we got Super Lust here. A situation that may indeed make it uh, advisable for me to use the Bible so I can fly away over some rocks. But I think I'm going to be able to kill him easily. Poison Touch, perhaps? Yum Heart. Uh, that's a decent item. Not really in our circumstance. We're doing okay for health and defense, given that I can fire four shots at any enemy that gets within urine's range. This, yeah, this feels like a good use of the Bible. I'm just gonna get the F out of here. And as these guys chase us, we'll just pick up a little extra money. Joke's on you guys. There's the hearts remaining for me, but this money belongs to me now and forever. Uh, we also got a spirit heart out of that. So in the end, I think that ended up working out surprisingly well. Sadly, we're still bereft of keys. Cue the key bereft Twitter account now sending me a tweet. Because there was a video a while ago where I was like, Key bereft sounds like a sweet band name. I think I d improvised a rap ditty called I Pay My Workers. <laughs> Those were the days. Uh, and then I got a tweet later that day from some guy who was like, Yo, Northern Lion, thanks for peeping at us and a new hit signal. Or s signal. New hit single, I Pay My Workers. And I'm like, okay, cool. I actually find it funny. I didn't mean to sound dismissive there. Oftentimes, when you're doing commentary, you forget what you say until people remind you of it. So it's nice to be reminded to be like, all right, I did say that crazy shit that doesn't make any sense to anybody else. Do we have anything down here? We have a conga line. It's gonna be annoying. Uh, they're flying over the rocks here. That's not cool. This is also super not cool because I'm taking a hundred years to kill them. Give me Polyphemus now. Polyphemus quad shots, number one. And I need like a massive range upgrade. I don't know what would give me that, though. Well, you know what? With 21 cents, we might as well go to the shop. We've already fought a mini-boss. Pretty much exactly what I was hoping for, uh, Mom's Purse, which is great because I totally forgot uh, to hit that cheat engine setting to make it so you don't need the uh, Polaroid to go to the chest. So now we should be able to go to the chest as opposed to, you know, before where we wouldn't have had any opportunity to do so. Very good luck with Secret Room so far. I will absolutely pick up the noose, which will give us uh, the ability to fly. So the Bible's flying ability is now secondary to the fact that it can kill mom and mom's heart instantly. It was just a really lucky find in there. Again, noose may not be a holy item. In fact, there's basically no justifiable way to say that. But again, the stipulation of the run, you can go back to whatever episode it was. I think it was 360 or 358. Uh, and read the comment itself. It didn't say no unholy items. It just said no deals with the devil. I'm not trying to cheat the system. I'm just trying to clarify the conditions that I was given and how this item fits in to what I have been given so far, like I said. So we are gonna take this Eternal Heart. I don't F around too much with Eternal Heart management anymore, because I always mess it up when I, like, leave an Eternal Heart. I will almost always, probably like, four out of 10 times, that's not almost always, I guess, but it's often enough to be annoying, uh, forget it when I go down to the next floor. So it's basically just like, oh, remember that health upgrade you could've had for free? Yeah, you fucked up. Uh, we have, oh, this is, I forgot I could fly without using the Bible. This is a decent room for us with that in mind. Because we should be able to kill zombies. I'm going to guess two hits each, which is holding true so far. Rage would be great, too. I would welcome a rage a rage upgrade. And the strength card is something that I believe we should be able to use. And, of course, everything I say about there being no conditions for this run against unholy items, uh, besides deal with the devil items, flies in the face of me refusing to use that devil card. What can I say? I'm a complicated, uh, complicated man. And if you don't... If you can't handle me in my worst, then you don't deserve me in my best. I already lost that eternal heart. This is my worst. We're gonna fight whoever the boss is on the depths part one. It's a monster of duh. So we're gonna take damage against a fly, because I've never played the Binding of Isaac before in my life. And then we are just gonna bounce around here, taking more damage against Monster 2. Don't die against Monster 2, please. That would be pretty embarrassing. Uh, I just popped the strength card to do a little extra damage here. Problem is, I've got to get real close to him to actually hit him, but he'll, he's going to be dead fairly soon. I'm hoping that at some point here, we've, we've finally qualified for a deal with the Angel. Doesn't seem like it's going to be here. The HP upgrade is nice, but above all else, I kind of desperately need range at this point. I really elongated that word because I thought I was going to say rage for a while, but then I switched it to range. So we have not gone to the item room on this floor. The shop is probably unlikely to be very good for us, given that we don't have the money to kind of invest enough to pick up a decent item. Uh, I don't know how those guys got over there, but that's okay. We're back to full health. And we do have five heart containers now. 
I don't know if that's supposed to be amazing or adequate. I would file that under adequate. But it's better than we've been doing a lot lately. We've been getting a lot of uh, health upgrades. Or sorry, a lot of runs that were kind of devoid of health upgrades, which is super annoying. So I did get a bomb and a scent for my key wasting there. Was it worth it? Eh, sort of. Depends on your opinion. We, we're we're going to need these bombs at some point anyway, and we probably don't need too many more keys, because right now the chest is looking like a unlikelihood, shall we say. Uh, and the money could be beneficial again if we ever run into a judgment, which we are apparently just not going to do ever. Uh, so... I don't know, maybe it was worth it, maybe it wasn't. The bombs are going to be absolutely necessary for the Mom's Heart boss fight, there's no question about that. There's a half heart over here, so taking damage, not the end of the world. And we should be able to get through here without getting hit again. This run's so far so good, there, there haven't been many highs or many lows on this run. Which is something I can appreciate after the insanity of that lefty flip run that we just did, which was just like, permanently, oh my brain's dead! <laughs> Just constantly, like, not being able to think about what the heck is going on. What do we have in here? Uh, Rage! Perfect! That's exactly what I asked for. That's not necessarily rare that happens. Uh, but this is awesome for us. Because now we'll actually be able to do uh, extra damage on these rooms that have a lot of enemies. And on the bosses, it doesn't really hurt us that much. Because at least on Mom's Heart and uh, Mom, we're going to be able to kill them instantly just by virtue of the Bible. Now, we do have problems, namely... That uh, if we use them on Isaac, or if we use the Bible on Isaac or Blue Baby, we die instantly. Which is pretty negative, I would say. You know, instant death is, is enough to scare me off from using it. Uh, but we might have a chance here. I don't know, we still need to stack a ton of damage. And maybe pick up some, like, ancillary, really great items. I'm using a lot of bombs here to try to find the secret room. Again, I want more money than go to the shop. That is indeed our secret room, which contains six cents. I'm not going to go to the shop. I'm going to save it for next floor and really just go, like, balls out. There was no mini boss on this floor yet, so I'm worried that potentially, or potentially, uh, greed would be in there and we would have just wasted a key, which is kind of valuable at this point. Anyway, that's my internal reasoning. We're going to head down to the depths part two. It's been a fairly quick run so far by virtue of the fact that number one allows us to fire every two seconds. Or, not every two seconds. I meant to say faster, like, or, like, exaggerate on the side of speed. But one shot every two seconds in Isaac is actually pretty slow. That's, like, brimstone speed. Still gets the job done, though. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And you know the rest of the quote. So we're gonna move over here. There's Leapers. We're on the Depths Part 2. At least it's not Necropolis. Leaper's still a pain in the dick hole, but... That's okay. This Champion Leaper is taking, like, 30 hits to kill. Luckily, I've gotten very lucky with the amount of red heart drops so far. There's been, like, more than enough to accommodate me, as you can see. There's already one behind us as well. Now, in this room, we absolutely have to go to the item room first. Oh. Uh, before we go to the boss room, anyway. We could go to the shop first. We can go to the arcade first if we want to. We might not have an opportunity to do so. Ability to fly is something I should be abusing a lot more to try to put myself in a more defensible position. Because right now... I'm getting my ass kicked for basically no reason. Like, these enemies, I've dealt with them so often. I should be able to beat a vanilla run in the I Binding of Isaac, like, never taking any items. Given the enemy patterns that I know. Let's see what we got here. Range up. That was a good pickup for sure. I could use uh, six or seven more of those. However, I think that is pretty unlikely. We're going to get a Spirit Heart here, which is nice. We haven't really had much in the way of Tinted Rocks on this floor. So, or sorry, not even on this floor, on this run. I think I've only had one or maybe zero Tinted Rocks. Which is pretty remarkable. Normally you don't get luck that bad. I don't know why I said I needed bombs for the Mom's Heart boss fight. It just totally uh, dawned on me that that's absolutely unnecessary because we'll be killing Mom's Heart instantly by way of the Bible. Which is good. We don't really have to worry about the boss fight on this floor. All we have to worry about is getting to the boss fight. Now, in terms of items from the shop that I would want, I want nothing to do with battery because uh, it's absolutely worthless given that we're only going to need the Bible for one thing here. So we might as well save it. Uh, what I do want is... I was hoping for compass, actually. Instead, we'll buy a spirit heart and a key. That's okay. Uh, but I was really hoping for compass, or even a map, if I couldn't get the compass. Just to make it... So I could traverse the womb a little bit more easily. Because that is going to be uh, the, the hardest part for us in the immediate future. That and making sure that our 5 health uh, actually sustains us while we're down in the womb. Which is kind of unlikely. But anyway, we are going to move onwards here. It's got to be, like, right side is going to be 
item room and boss room. So we're gonna just absolutely destroy Larry Jr. here. He's got no chance in hell. Just don't get hit by the turrets in the meantime and you'll be fine. We picked up the Emperor card, which is good. We're actually gonna save that for the... Uh, may as long as I can, basically. I, if I can save it for the womb part two or the cathedral, that would be great. I could use it on the womb part one to just speed things up a little bit. Who knows? Uh, telepathy for dummies, terrible item. Wish I had never. Well, I didn't really waste my time in coming here because I had to come here regardless. But wish I hadn't wasted my invested my mental energy in hoping that that would be better. You know, I would have rather just been realistic and cynical as opposed to disappointed. So we should be able to kill these guys easily. The downside, of course. Well, now that I've been hit, the downside is that we took damage. But the downside is that there's no rocks that I could fly over to kind of provide myself with a little bit of extra cover. I'm really hoping that Mom gives us a range upgrade. Polaroid range upgrade. I mean, the Polaroid is a guarantee. But the range upgrade is not. Rage upgrade would be cool, too. I don't think it's possible, though. So we're just going to kill Mom immediately. That was easy. We get HP upgrade with tears upgrade. Okay, that's fine, too. And we'll go down to the next floor. And you know what? I think our best option is just to speed through this as soon as we can. So I'm gonna pop the Emperor card quickly, because this is gonna give us our last treasure, if I remember correctly. So in fighting Triacnid here, perhaps perhaps we will get a range upgrade that will allow us to, uh, you know, get through the next floor faster. Basically, I was thinking, let's just bum rush it. Not too much incentive to save uh, that Emperor card. And finally, we get a deal with the Devil. Okay, shot speed increase might be valuable, I don't know. Uh, deal with the angel, sorry, gives us the relic. This could carry us through. There were not many ways that that could have gone better. Uh, Sacred Tears obviously would have been one. So I'm trying to hit this guy without getting hit myself, and obviously that has failed. Balls of Steel, please. Telepills into uh, Duke of Flies' room that was actually adjacent to a room that we started in. So it's not the end of the world here. We're not going to have to do too much more backtracking. And in standing right here, it should be basically safe from all these laser bullet flies. And now we'll just focus on Dookie F number two. Who's going to be fairly easy in his own right. We are out of spirit hearts now, though. Maybe this will set me on the right path. And uh, maybe what I'm thinking is maybe perhaps I was going the wrong way before. And uh, the telepills will actually serve as a sign that this is the right direction that we should be going in. I don't know. I don't really buy into superstitions like that. Stranger things have happened, though. Probably misattributed things, but still. Uh, we're gonna blow up Wrath with his own bomb, or just piss on him until he dies. That's what a way to go, right? And we're just gonna take out Loki here, which should be fairly easy. I kind of like the Loki fight when you have a quad shot like this, because it's way easier to not miss the, uh, the bomb flies that he shoots at, which means he's gonna explode more quickly than usual. And remember, this should be fairly fast for us as well, because we are going to be fighting uh, Mom's Heart, which again is an instant kill. Which is why I didn't make any claim- oh, that was a terrible copy. Which is why I didn't make any claim like, uh, you know, if I beat Mom's Heart, I'll consider this a successful run. Well, beating Mom's Heart is remarkably easy, given the situation we find ourselves in, uh, where just pressing the spacebar is going to be an instant KO now. Let's continue moving onwards. This is a dead end, so sadly, Troll Engine was not the benevolent creator that I thought it was. It's more like the assholes in Prometheus. Hey, thanks for visiting us in space. I hate you. Spoilers, by the way. Well, it's not really spoilers. You gotta actually see the movie, see how things shake out. Uh, what is this blue pill? Bomb's a key. You know, if I didn't take that blue pill, I could have made a Matrix reference. Why, oh why, didn't I take the blue pill? Well, I'm glad I took the blue pill here, because nine keys is going to be more valuable. If we ever come across a golden chest, or the chance to go to the chest and actually open the, che the chests in there, take a shot every time I say chest. Oh, you can't because you're dead, because you tried to play that game. Um, we will be able to use these keys eventually, provided we survive that long. But, you know, that that's still up in the air at this point, like a George Clooney film. We're going to see if we can't get through the wound part two first, which should be easy. I would love to make this Eternal Heart last long. Okay, just don't get hit on this room, and the Eternal Heart will basically give you a free HP upgrade. That is good. The real question is, do we have any fucking chance against Isaac and Blue Baby? And the answer to that question is, so far, no. Uh, but we're going to try anyway. We'll do our best. So first things first, Bible will just be an instant KO. We'll get full health. We'll go up to the next floor. We're at seven health with the Spirit Heart. 
And now, my kingdom for a compass in this situation. Good dodging for once. Feels like it's been a while since I applauded myself on my dodging. And it'll probably be a while before I applaud myself on my dodging again. Tends to be a little inconsistent. The problem with Rage and the Isaac Blue Baby fight is, um, fights, I guess I should say, is that we don't have anything to build our Rage on until it's already too late. Like, we can kill Angel Fetuses. Actually, I guess in the Blue Baby fight it's a little bit easier because he does shoot out the flies that you can, uh, attack. However... Just focusing here for a second. Uh, however, uh, you know, Blue Baby's not our principal concern right now. Isaac is our principal concern. A, getting to him, which is looking okay so far, and B, killing him, which is a total crapshoot. Your guess is as good as mine. We are gonna, I guess, those bombs that I would have used on Mom's Heart previously, uh, we are absolutely 100% going to use on Isaac this time, provided I get close to him. And remember, we don't have any kind of, like, permanent invincibility from the Polaroid in this situation, so that was bad damage. Uh, especially now that we don't have any Spirit Hearts. So, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm flying, like, traditional style in Isaac right now. Instead of extra crispy. So we can't do anything with that. Uh, and this is a dead end. That's the worst possible situation. It's okay. One of these guys is going to die very soon. I'm not sure which. How about that guy? Followed by this guy. Oh, that, it barely touched me. Which is, in hindsight, enough to do damage. Uh, well, I need to go back and get that extra health. Uh, we're going to come through here down maybe I, I really hate when you end up doing like the entire cathedral by accident I'm gonna use one bomb on these guys just to speed it up a little bit because I worry about it. it's basically like having two rotating turrets and two lusts chase you down especially if the rotating turrets became war after they got pissed off mind you they don't take as nearly as much damage to actually kill and this should allow me to just keep them at arm's length and there we go, okay. So the Bible's available, we're out of Spirit Hearts. We're gonna be fighting exactly the same room, only in this room the champions uh, have maybe a speed upgrade? I can't really tell. The other ones were detached, which makes it a little bit more difficult for them. Or sorry, for me. On this room it's a little bit more difficult for them, although I did take some damage, so what do I know? We're just trying to make our way to Isaac, in case you're just joining us. Run's gone very well so far, but I'm skeptical of the ability of our prostate cancer to take out uh, one of the second, well, the second hardest boss in the game, I guess, the Blue Baby. Got a Spirit Heart, which is beneficial. Again, the Relic, thank you for keeping me in the money here. I should go back and get that other Red Heart, but it's not absolutely necessary yet. Because we might get another one just on our path to the boss here. There's our boss fight. Okay. So I'm just going to hang out. Forgot that those things could go through rocks. Probably should have figured that out way sooner. We took some more damage there. Just threw some weird brownie in motion of those guys. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely destroyed by Satan here. This is a situation where I really wish I had like a Ouija board or something. It's gonna kill that other zombie. Uh, like with a Ouija board, it sh this would be very easy for me compared to how it is right now, which is pretty difficult actually. Uh, we're just gonna back up. Attack him. That went surprisingly well. I definitely do want to go back and get that extra health. I don't think we have much of a chance in hell here of beating Isaac, to be honest with you. It's going to require... The, the, the problem is I have to get right next to that motherfucker to hit him, given my range, which is like less than half the map right now. Oh, you know what? I might be able to hit him from afar. I'm not... I give myself like a 10% chance. We have, The other problem is we have an incredible rate of fire, and incredible rate of fire means... Oh, that was worth a check for the secret room. Uh, means that he's going to be shooting out a lot of shots as well. We don't really have too much in the way of, like, extra dodging ability. I have one speed upgrade, but we don't have, like, a, a halo of flies or anything. Also, Harlequin Baby's going to be shooting, so there's just going to be, like, constant uh, barrages of shots to dodge. And we're not doing that much damage, and Rage is not going to build up. I'm going to stop issuing excuses, though. This is actually not going super terribly so far. Let's talk about our advantages. We do have Quad Shot. Uh, just drop the bomb in on him there to do some extra. We're gonna do it again. I really need some way to start doing more damage because this is not looking good. I can only get hit through two more times now. It was three times. At the, oh, okay. So now we're in permanent invincibility. And by permanent, I mean for the next two seconds until we die, in all likelihood. Yeah, there we go. 
It was worth a try. That was actually a good run. Thank you to Gut Egg for that suggestion. I hate you for having the worst YouTube name of all time, but that was a decent run, and I appreciate the kind of backstory to it. But in any case, we have failed this run. As always, thank you guys for watching, and please continue suggesting your challenge ones. Challenge runs. I will do the ones I deem most appropriate or amusing or entertaining or who knows comical in the case of the lefty flip episode but in any case thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time